What's going on guys? Welcome to Inside the Horseshoe. My name is Matt and tomorrow is game day as the Indianapolis Colts take on the Denver Broncos in Denver for Thursday night football. In today's video, I'm going to give you guys my thoughts on the game, my keys to victory, and then at the end of the video, I will give you my prediction on who I believe is going to win the game. But before I do that, if you're new or if you haven't already, I would greatly appreciate if you would click that subscribe button. Also click the bell icon so you're notified when I upload a video or when I go live. If you like this video, smack the like button. Leave your thoughts in the comments down below. And if you have a Twitter, make sure you follow me on Twitter at horseshoe underscore pod. There's a link in the description down below. So tomorrow night on Amazon Prime, the Colts will take on the Denver Broncos. And I will say this. Before the season started, I was a little worried about Amazon getting the rights to stream Thursday Night Football. I don't like it when streaming services get to stream games. I don't think Peacock does a good job when they stream Notre Dame games. I know that there were some WWE fans that weren't happy with Peacock as well, especially early on. So I was a little worried when Amazon got the rights to do Thursday Night Football because I was like, oh no, there's going to be issues, there's going to be problems with the streams. But I will say this, I think Amazon's done a really good job. Um, and of course, out of all the streaming services, Amazon would be the one to do the best job because they had the most money. So um, they've been doing a really good job. I think Kirk Herbstreet and Al Michaels are great together on the broadcast. I think they have really good chemistry together. I think they got a great group of panels for the pre-game and halftime show, as well as post-game. I, I think they've done a really good job, so credit to Amazon. Um, I really like what they've had. My only issue with Amazon is when I tried to stream the game at work on my phone, it wasn't working. It kept saying there was an error and stuff, so I do think they need to work on that. I don't know if anybody else had issues or it was just me and my phone, but um, Amazon does need to work on that part of it and get the mobile streaming better because there are going to be some people who can't stream it at home. Maybe they're at work, maybe at a wedding, and they're going to have to stream it on their phone. But I will say on TV, and I would assume on computers, Amazon's done a really good job. So credit to Amazon. Now let's get into the game. We're two minutes and 20 seconds in to the video. Let's get into the game. You guys don't care about me talking about Amazon. Uh, let's talk about the football game. So both teams dealing with injuries, you know, obviously, as we all know, at the time of this recording, Shaquille Leonard and Tyquan Lewis are ruled out. Uh, Julian Blackman has not been ruled out yet at the time of this recording and when it uploads, I would assume. But I will say I would assume that Julian Blackman is probably going to be out as well. Don't know about Taylor yet. We'll find out. Um, but Denver... They lost Javante Williams for the season, and Randy Gregory will not play in this game. He was put on IR as well, so he's going to miss multiple weeks. So both teams are dealing with injuries. You know, Denver's roster is pretty nicked up right now. Russell Wilson's not 100% healthy. He was limited throughout the week uh, so far, Monday and Tuesday. He was limited in practice, um, as was uh, Melvin Gordon. He was also limited, and they had a bunch of other players limited as well, or they just simply did not participate in their walkthroughs. Um, so both teams are dealing with injuries. So there is that. So it's not like the Colts are the only team in this matchup that has injury concerns, right? Both teams do. Denver does as well as the Colts. Um, both offenses, when it comes to scoring, not the greatest. Um, the Colts are obviously not good as well as Denver. Um, they haven't been the best when it comes to scoring as well. Um, so with that being said, we're going to get into my keys to victory. We're going to start with the offense for the Colts. Uh, Matt Ryan, don't fumble the football. Don't turn the ball over. you got to make sure you hold on to the football, man. Uh, nine fumbles up to this point, absolutely ridiculous. You cannot have that many fumbles. And he knows it too. Matt Ryan's addressed it. He says, this is something that needs to change. And he's right. It needs to change. So Matt Ryan, you cannot turn the ball over. You were brought here to make sure turnovers don't happen. You're supposed to be smart with the football. You're supposed to protect the football and you haven't done it. That's got to change. And I know the offensive line hasn't been great. And Matt Ryan's been running for his life, but you got to hold on to the football, man. You, you can't just let it fall out. So, He's got to hold on to the football. He's got to take care of it, and he's got to take what the defense gives him, right? It's a good defense they're going up against. They got some good corners. They got a good defensive line. I mean, this is a good team. So Matt Ryan needs to just take what the defense gives him. Um, that's what I want to happen, of course. Offensive line, got to protect better. You know what I mean? Offensive line has to continue to improve. I thought, at least when it came to the passing game, 
the offensive line did better than they have in previous weeks, they need to continue to get better. They need to protect Matt Ryan. Give him time to throw the football, especially in this game with some of the guys that are in the secondary for Denver. Give him time to throw the football. Open up any holes for a running game. You know what I mean? Don't let them run into a brick wall. So I I need the offensive line to really step up and uh, do a good job in this game. Okay, so now let's move on to the defense. Let's start off with the defensive line. They got to get pressure on Russell Wilson. I need them to get pressure on Russell Wilson, force him to make mistakes, force him to turn the ball over, get him to the ground. Look, man, he's not 100%. He's a little banged up. He's not going to be perfect in this game. So you need to make it difficult for Russell Wilson. You also need to take away the run game. Like I said, Williams, he's out for the season. So it's going to be Melvin Gordon. So I need this defensive line to stop Melvin Gordon and stop the Denver Bronco run game. I got to see that happen. And then the secondary. I need the secondary to do a really good job in coverage. Play like you did against Kansas City. Because I thought the secondary did a really good job against Kansas City. They got to do it again this week because you got Jerry Judy to worry about. Corton Sutton, you got him to worry about as well. Uh, KJ Hamler, you got to worry about him too. Um, This is a good receiving core they got they got some good pass catchers so they need to make sure they don't let those guys get open uh do not let them have an opportunity to get a big play contain them do a good job covering them if they do that then i feel like we have a good chance to win this game and then special teams matt hawk continue to play good (laughs) you know matt hawk's done a good job so he needs to continue to pin denver deep he had one punt that wasn't great Last week, you know, just one, or I guess this past Sunday. But um, yeah, I need Matt Hawk to consistently do a good job pinning Denver deep when you have to punt the football. Um, and then Chase McLaughlin, make your kicks. You got to make them, man. Uh, he missed, obviously, the 51 yarder in uh, Tennessee. Cannot miss. He's got to make his kicks, he's got to make them consistently. So, um, there's my keys. Now let's get into my prediction for who I believe is going to win the game. Um, honestly, I could see this going anyway. I could see the Colts winning this game. I could see Denver winning this game. Um, I feel like this is a good matchup for both teams. I feel like they match up very well against each other. But if I had to predict who I believe is going to win this game, it's almost like a coin toss to me, but I'm going to go Denver in this game. Um, I think them being at home, it being in high altitude, Short week, I think that's going to give Denver the edge in this game. I don't th- I don't expect this to be a high-scoring game, personally. I think the defenses are going to step up and do a good job. I don't really see both offenses going out there scoring like 21 points. I think this is going to be a low-scoring game, but I do think... Um, I do think that Denver's offense is going to have a little more success against our defense than our offense will have against Denver's defense. Again, I will not be surprised if the Colts win this game, but if I'm going to be honest, I do expect Denver to win this game. Uh, I will say, give me a score of like 17 to 14. I'll go 17, 14 Denver Broncos. Close game. Uh, Honestly, Again, it could go either way, but I'm going to go to Denver Broncos here, and that's going to do it, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you're new or if you haven't already, I would greatly appreciate if you would click that subscribe button. Also, click the bell icon. That way, you're notified when I upload a video or when I go live. If you like the video, smack that like button. Leave your thoughts in the comments down below. Who wins this game and why? Let me know in the comments. And if you have a Twitter, make sure you follow me on Twitter at horseshoe underscore pod. There's a link in the description down below. So thank you very much for watching. I've been Matt Bleed Blue, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you like it, make sure you watch one of these other two videos. They're cool. Also, if you're new, please click the subscribe button as well as the bell icon. I greatly appreciate your support.